Welcome to the We On podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we uncover how rising sea levels have put 100 million buildings in the global south at serious risk, with scientists warning of widespread flooding and infrastructure damage. The big question remains whether India faces the same looming danger. Scientists have been warning against rising sea levels for a long time, but now the threat has become even bigger. If the studies are to be believed, then nearly 100 million buildings could be under threat in the global south by the end of the current century. The researchers say even if the countries around the world cut their greenhouse emissions as per the Paris Agreement, it won't be enough to save nearly 5 million buildings in the southern part of the world. The study focuses on the impact of the rising sea levels in the global south, consisting of countries in Africa, Southeast Asia, and Central and South America. The study, published in Urban Sustainability, explored various scenarios where sea level rose between 0.5 meter to 20 meters. A rise of 5 meters or more in the sea level will put nearly 100 million buildings at risk. If the water level rises at its lowest level of 0.5 meters, it would still be enough to flood nearly 3 million buildings in the explored area of the study. We were surprised at the large number of buildings at risk from relatively modest long-term sea level rise, said Professor Jeff Cardile, co-author and professor at McGill University. Sea level rise is a slow but unstoppable consequence of warming that is already impacting coastal populations and will continue for centuries, Professor Natalia Gomez said, co-author of the study and Canada Research Chair in Ice Sheet Sea Level Interactions at McGill University. The study only took Southeast Asia's islands into consideration for the study as data on water level rising in seas around the mainland in Southeast Asia was incomplete. This means that his research did not include India, which doesn't come in Southeast Asia, but in South Asia, could still be at risk given it is surrounded by water on three sides. Thanks for tuning into this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.